Okay, I have uh, expanded my satisfactory factory substantially. Uh, I really like the way this giant tower of conveyors works, and then just putting all my manufacturing off to one side or another. Whee! And peeling what I need off of the conveyors. It's much easier to keep track of what's going on. This has worked out very well. I was going to start a whole new game in creative mode just to experiment with uh, doing things with pretty architecture instead of just utilitarian. But I decided, since I've got a fully functioning factory here with tons and tons of material being cranked out, that it would be easier just to go ahead and get a little creative here and just redo some of my sub-factories. So, like, this is my first attempt here. Well, this is an iron factory, or iron products. So I'm making plates and rods and screws. I mean, not a spectacular piece of architecture, but, you know, something neater than just this mess. And I got 720 iron ore per minute sucking into this point coming up through the floor and then I decided to make this a proper building with stairs and everything I'm using the the power nodes on the wall to make it clean oops that door is still a little glitchy I don't know why work right. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so, basically, these are all the uh, smelters. Jump up here. And they're just making iron ingots. So, at the end of this, I got 720 per minute iron ingots going upstairs. Here. And yes, I've got ceiling lighting so I can see what I'm doing. And then I've just got three stations or three sections. Uh, this is cranking out bars here. This is cranking out plates. And this is cranking out more bars. And way down here I got some screws. And because I ran out of room on the second floor, and I still had tons of room on the first floor, uh, we passed it briefly, but I've got more... Whoops. Save time. There we go. I got more uh, plates being cranked out on the first floor. So that worked out nice. Got a nice, clean-looking building. Windows. And then everything gets sent way back here. And yeah, by the way, I've gotten far enough in the game, I've got the uh, electromagnetic uh, flying pack. So when you're near a factory, and when you're near power poles anyway, this makes it much easier because you can fly and hover and uh, makes it easier to place things instead of trying to climb towers all the time. So I actually had to pipe everything back here because it needs to get fed into the belts at the start to be of any value. This is my starting end, and then it works all the way down there. That's worked out kind of nice, and what I'm going to do is just gradually retrofit all my little sub-factories into neater buildings. Like, this is another iron works down here, or my, my first one. And I'm just going to probably build a building up here. I kind of started on it already and move it all into here and make it neater and more compact. And I've got some remote factories. 
that I'll need to refurbish as well. See, I've got little factories just stuck on the ends right now, just on top of each other. I've got lots of spare power, so, you know, don't have to worry about that. i got all my, my giant uh, nuclear power station working down there. So if I get down to one of these poles real quick, I can check the power. And you see I got oodles of juice. I'm not even using half of it. So that's worked out good. Night is falling. I've got some lights in here. I haven't totally lit the place up yet. Take the tube to the other side. Wee doggy! This is uh, where I've got the, my base set up, my company logo, <laughs> and uh, I set up here at the end of the belt uh, storage containers so that if I need anything I can just grab it instead of actually running down the line and grabbing it from the individual storage containers down there. So this is just easy grab stuff for me. And I go out here to Nuke Island with appropriate warnings that there is radiation beyond this point. All the glowy green stuff. Uh, I've got my waste disposal tweaked now that it can keep up with the waste being cranked out. Yeah, that hasn't changed much in a while. So if I add any more nukes, I'm going to have to upgrade that disposal facility. But right now I'm producing plenty of fuel. As you can see, it's all sitting here waiting. Uh, all the waste is coming out. I added some more nukes back here, so I've got uh, plenty of power. Still got my old coal plants running too. There was no really compel, no real compelling reason to take them offline. This is all just the cooling water coming from the nearby lake. This is kind of pretty at night. Uh, I did paste in this uh, rail system a while back. I don't use it much. I'm actually not using it for much of anything except that there's that one train that's bringing some materials down the other end of the factory. Uh, I am using some drones, like I decided I, I had this radioactive uh, belt snaking across. That's what's left of the belt there. I cut it off. I used to bring uh, all the uh, uranium ore and it was getting kind of a little dangerous, so I decided to start transporting the Oops. The uranium via drone, so I've got a little drone platform set up over here. And that works pretty good. It just keeps bringing uranium ore. And right now it's just it's bringing it faster than I'm using it, so I'm cool. got a monster battery manufacturer, so um, I could definitely add some more drones if I need to later. I am fully stocked on batteries. I haven't even looked at my new iron factory at night. It must look pretty. Yeah, there we go. That looks cool. So I'm just going to start retrofitting things, adding a little bit of architecture to it.
That's where I am right now.